Hello Libra, welcome to your reading. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what we have for you guys today. All right. For the absolutely stunning Libras. Let's see. All right. With this message, as with all messages, please only take what resonates and leave what does not. If you find something that resonates, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate you. And if not, just check your other placements. Okay. All right. I cannot place my cards down straight. They they just have to be messy. <laughs> they have to be messy. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, yes, the absolutely stunning Libras. We have the Queen of Wands, confidence energy. Confident energy, unapologetic energy. Somebody is moving. Physical attraction. Life of the party type of energy. This is a person who's the life of the party. This is somebody who's really, really attractive and knows it. Like, it's not a person who don't know. Like, they know. All right? So, um, this is that energy. The energy of this reading is the Queen of Wands energy. It's Aries energy. All right? So, it's hot. Um, somebody, could, somebody could be telling you you're hot. Do people say that to people anymore? Um, there's this fiery energy, creative energy. There is this loving energy, too. Um, the self-loving energy. All right, let's see the people that's closest to you, Libra, right now. We have the Ace of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Wands here. All right, so first thing, we're going to start off with the Nine of Wands. There's a person who is beside, who is close to you, but they're afraid of getting closer. They're afraid of getting any closer. They could be afraid of getting, moving, taking a step. There's a person who y'all could have had, a, like, a, y'all relationship could have definitely been a roller coaster. There could also be a person in this Nine of Wands energy who is drained completely, like overworked. They've been working really, really hard. Um, I do also feel like there could be somebody besides you that wants to tell you what they're going through, but they're just afraid to actually express in depth what it is that they are actually going through. Um, there could be somebody who could be wanting to give up on something the relationship, something that they're going on, going through, um, and they are close to you, okay? We also have the Ace of Swords. This is somebody who is very, very wise. This could definitely be an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini that is close to, to you, that is very, very wise. They give you the truth. Somebody gives you the truth. Somebody, after you finish talking to a person, like, you see things clearer. Like, they don't have you ever talked to a person and you, you're you dazed and you're drained and you're whatever? No, this person, they help you gain clarity. This person is very, very wise. This could also be a very smart person. This person could do some type of military work or some type of like law work or um, some type of government work. They give you this, this energy of enlightenment when you talk to them. Really, really good conversations. All right. You do have a person who wants to give you some type of love offer that's closest to you. Um, you see how this person is clutching this cup to the chest? Like they're clutching this cup to the chest. So this is their heart. Like somebody wants to give, like they're about to give you the purest parts of them, the most innocent parts of them, which will be fully love. Um, there's somebody who, when they get around you, they can't help it. Their inner child is activated. Like, 
you could have you could be around somebody where every time you get around them they start to giggle and smile like a little kid they can't help it like it's just that that energy that's the effect of your energy on this person that's close to you they want to give you this love offer um they're clutching this to chest i feel like they could be waiting for the perfect opportunity you can see they could be waiting to the moon is the fullest or they are trying to hold on it until the moon could be the fullest you know when the moon gets full it talks about like high tides and you know water emotions things like that i feel like by this full moon this person won't be able to hold whatever they have inside but i do feel like that there's somebody who's wearing their heart on their sleeve and you definitely will be receiving some type of love offer soon yes with the knight of cups here now this could definitely be somebody who is um, Pisces is the energy of this card, but this, this could be any water sign here or somebody who's in their water right now. You see how they're extending that cup? You see how the cup was close to the chest and now they're extending this cup? So there's a person who wants to extend some type of offer to you. There's somebody who's going to be expressing how they feel towards you. I do feel like that there's a person who had like a, a bad case of you during this previous uh, full moon or is definitely going to be during a full moon where they're not going to be able to hold all of their emotions and their true feelings of how they feel about you. This is just a person expressing their truest feelings, their love feelings, how they love a person. Um, so I feel like there's a person who's closest to you that's going to be definitely expressing expressing how they feel okay towards you they're not clutching that that cup to the chest anymore they're kind of extending this out to you this person could also be trying to get you to go on a date or get you to go somewhere or something like that like they're all in like all in all right ride in the love wave okay let's see if there's any threats surrounding you we got the magician here we got the fool we got the two of wands and we have the eight of wands too all right, um, so there's a lot of talk. Okay, we're going to start with this Eight of Wands here. There could be a lot of talk going on around you or a lot of talks about you. Um, you could be the topic of conversation. And the only thing that will pose as a threat would be what a person is saying to you, not, not necessarily what a person is um, doing. I do feel like there could be like a lot, like so much chatter, like somebody is saying so many different things or there could be so many different people saying so many different things around you. We do have the magician here. So this is you having all the tools. So even if there were a threat, you have a sword in your bag for it or OK, or you have the sword for some type of clarity on how to deal with this this um, threat here. You have pentacles to move yourself away from the threat, okay? You have the cup to kind of process your emotions so you won't let it get in and and it won't, you won't internalize something and you won't make it something about you when it's literally about them. Um, you have the wand, okay? You know how to communicate effectively if you were to be, it's like you ready for the threats, basically, like ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. There's somebody who's doing very, very foolish things. Um, I feel like there's a person who's um, around you and it's, it's kind of coming up as a threat for you, but this is what's really going on. They are going to become a threat to themselves because whatever they're going off, it's like they have no, I feel like there could be a person who has no like sword in a fight, but they're putting their uh, two cents in something and what they're going to do is end up biting themselves. They don't have anything to do with anything, but they're by themselves. This could be a young person. This could be a young-minded individual, but they're coming up very, very foolish because if they knew better, they'd be like, that ain't none of my business. But it seems like this person is going to jump off. I do also feel like that this, this person could definitely try to play the victim. They can come in with their own story when something has nothing to do with them, but they end up biting themselves, okay? All right, you also have the two of wands. Your paths through cross with the person here. Um, yeah, your paths definitely cross with the person. This will be somebody who made some type of choice. Somebody made some type of choice. It's almost given like you made your bed, now lay in it type of energy. But again, with this magician energy here, like you're equipped for any type of threat. So I do feel like you're ready for when this person crossed your path. This could definitely be a fire sign. This could also be any type of sign. I see the moon. I see a lot. I see all the elements here. So this could definitely be any type of sign. But I do feel like that this person... Um, they made a particular choice or they did something where 
in this this near future your paths are definitely going to cross and you're going to handle them accordingly you're going to handle them with whatever sword or whatever tool that you have you have all the tools it's like you're ready for whatever you're not afraid of these threats at all that's posing to you not even the foolish one because you know that this person is a plum fool somebody don't know any better all right um uh, let's see what's the most things being said about you libra oh you got the ace of pentacles okay you got the ten of swords you have the two of pentacles and you have the ace of wands let's first start off with the ace of wands um the most things being said about you is beauty you're beautiful you're very very creative um you're very very passionate um somebody it's like you're delicate like a flower like it's like you're like a precious um possession so somebody speaks of you in very very high regards okay um somebody speaks of your creativity in very very high regards somebody also speaks in your like passion for something also your beauty some somebody is discussing how you look how attractive you are this could also be somebody discussing how attracted they are to you like um there's a lot of good things that's being said about you all right and we also have the two of pentacles. Somebody could be talking about how you didn't commit to something, how you're not committing to something, how you don't have, um, you're juggling something, how you never commit, you always juggle something. Somebody could definitely be that. Like, like it's like you have the best of the both worlds. You could be a type of person that want to have their cake and eat it too. Somebody is definitely talking about this. But then also on the flip side, the person could be talking about how you're able to balance something. How something was supposed to throw you off balance, but it's you're actually balancing something. So I still feel like overall in this reading that there's a person who could possibly be talking to, talking about you in the highest uh, regards right now. All right. Um, we also have the Ten of Swords. Again, this would be about some type of betrayal. But in this card, I do love this card because it's like all the wounds, they're filled with flowers. So it's like there's growth. There's seeds. Okay. There's going to be growth where it hurts. So somebody could be talking about how you didn't allow a person who could have betrayed you or a painful truth or a painful ending to stop you where that painful ending uh stopped there was a new beginning that started so i do feel like somebody is talking about your evol your evolution somebody could definitely be talking about your growth somebody could definitely be talking about all of the wonderful things you're doing in spite of or because of something um so i do feel like again somebody is definitely talking about you in the highest regards also if you went through some type of pain in front of somebody like sometimes when we go and uh, we go through pain in front of people we feel really really exposed and, it, and it's not a good feeling at all so there could be a person that's talking about yeah i remember when they were in so much pain or i remember when they was going through this or they went through a certain this thing or whatever and now they're blossoming and now they, they're growing so much. They didn't allow that to stop them or they didn't allow that to turn them cold. So I do feel like a person could definitely be discussing this. Um, still talking about you in the highest regards here. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is talking about amazing an amazing opportunity that you have to increase in value. Somebody is talking about the amazing opportunity that you have to create stability and security for yourself. Somebody is talking about the amazing opportunity that you have to you know multiply when we talk about this ace of pentacles somebody could also be talking about pregnancy or something like that um but when we have this opportunity to create we have this opportunity to multiply we want to you know take advantage of these opportunities one of the key things is flowers i feel like somebody definitely is giving you your flowers right now speaking about you in the in the highest regards like all things even the bad things even something that you could have possibly been through that could have bothered you or could have laid you down for a minute a person sees your growth they see you stood stand right back up so it's like um i do feel like that there could be some type of healing moments somebody is definitely giving you your flowers right now somebody is definitely speaking about you in the highest regards okay let's see what's going on in the recent past recent past energy we got the seven of swords we got the Two of Cups, we got the Page of Swords, and we got the Four of Pentacles. We're going to start this off with the Four of Pentacles. In the recent past, for some of you guys, the reason why you weren't able to walk through a certain type of door is because you were holding on to a lot of stuff that didn't necessarily serve you. Um, now, these Four of Pentacles here, these are like prized possessions. These are things that you, you know, 
you hold dear to you. But in order to get through a certain type of door, you got to let some things go. So this could be some type of identities of yourself. And you're wondering why this door is closed or why you're not able to access this door. And it's because the things that you're holding on to was keeping you small, okay? It was keeping you in a certain type of position. Um, it, it, it reminds me of that famous quote, if you want to fly... You got to let go of all the shit that's weighing you down. And this would be the stuff that be, well, would be weighing you down. And the moment that you let let go of all of this stuff that's, that's weighing you down, you're able to walk through doors freely. You don't have all this extra baggage with you because the reason why you have to let go of these things, because when you walk through the door, you're going to need arm room, hand room to pick up these gems, to pick up the things that God has for you on the, on the other side of a door. Okay, so I do feel like for some of you guys, you could have felt like you was hitting a closed door, but this closed door was as a result of, was a result of you not letting go things that you completely outgrown. Okay, something could be keeping you small. Also, for some of you guys, you were in focus. You see the page of swords, the page of swords is supposed to be ready to fight, but he looking behind them. We know that that's a no-no when you're on the battlefield. You supposed to be focused in. So you are supposed to be focused on some fight, but there was some past stuff that had your attention. There was something in your past, somebody from your past that had your attention that kind of made you miss out on some type of opportunity in front of you. So here we go. We're talking about like, you are talking about you being so immersed in the past that you could possibly be missing out on this beautiful opportunity that's sitting right in front of you. Something is right in front of you. Um, so that was in your recent past. You were looking at something. For some of you guys, you could have been lurking um, a person, like tr looking at a person's page, um, looking at a person's, you know, asking about a person, watching someone. But in this moment, you needed to be ready to fight. You need to be ready to what's in front of you, okay? Not what was behind you, all right? In a recent past, there was a relationship too. Um, there was a bond here. Um, there was a relationship that got closer. There was some truth that you've seen uh, in this relationship where this person gave you your cup, you gave them... Um, no, this person gave you their cup, you gave them your cup, and it was just some type of open, authentic relationship. So I do feel like that could definitely be good. I felt like you were in a space where you felt like, you know, you could trust another person. You felt like that another person was being open and authentic and vulnerable with you, so you you felt like you were safe enough to be open and vulnerable with them, all right? So let's see. The other thing we have is the Seven of Swords. For some of you guys, this could have possibly be, been the thing that was taking your um, energy. For some of you guys, this could have also been the, that relationship that you felt like you had this open, you know, energy where it was open and vulnerable. And then next thing you know, you're in the Seven of Swords and you find out all of the things that a person was doing. I do also feel like somebody could have definitely been in a relationship where they kept, they took sword after sword after sword after sword after sword after sword. There was a person who didn't speak about you nicely. There was a person who possibly did not cater to what it is that you needed. There was a person in a relationship that was out for self. And for some of you guys, you could have still been in that energy, still looking back, still trying to figure out the whys and the whats and the whos and the whens. Um, but this is your past energy. Also, it gives me this energy that you could have possibly been doing whatever you needed to do for yourself. Somebody else could have possibly looked at you in the Seven of Swords energy where like, wow, this person only cares about themselves. And I do feel like that you could definitely have been in a, in a situation where you felt like, damn, there's a person who only cares about themselves. So I do feel like you figured out that you could have been in a one-sided relationship, um, in the recent past. Okay. And that doesn't have to just be love. That can be a friendship relationship. That can be a family relationship. All right. Let's see what your energy, not your energy. Yeah, your energy. Let's see what your energy is. We have the king of pentacles, the two of swords, the knight of pentacles, and the chariot. We're going to start off with the king of pentacles. Okay, so your energy is working really, really hard. You've adopted the energy of this King of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you may be dressing yourself in royal garb, okay? Like just 
royal clothing, you may have something that means something of value to you. It means a lot. So it could be little bracelets, necklaces, things like that that you're wearing. Shoes even. You know, it could be a wig, okay? Something that makes it holds some type of value to you that you're wearing. You're putting this on every single day. Um, green could be really, really good for you. Like green colors, um, green foods. I told y'all about eating that green foods. Making sure you're getting your green juice, your green, dark green leafy vegetables in. Um, for some of you guys, you're spending a lot of good time in nature. Um, some of you, right now, your energy is you are the, the intelligent investor, okay? The intelligent investor right now. That is the energy that you have. For some of you guys, if you're not possessing that energy, you need to act like you are an, an intelligent investor. Like you have it figured out. Like you, you are investing very, very well. So this is the person who invested in their future early, and they are able to to reap the benefits. This is the this is the king of pentacles is the one who while everybody else is partying at the clubs, the king of pentacles was studying, was working because he's he invested in himself really really early. So you have this energy of the intelligent investor. What are y'all invested in? Something's going to be really really big for you, okay? Some 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 of y'all making really really good investments here. We also have the chariot here. This is victory. Some of you guys are in this energy where you're about to see the victory of what Whatever it is that you're doing in the next seven days, okay? Um, it's this energy of integrity. You have a lot of integrity here. Like, a person don't need to be looking at you in your face. I remember I said that. I was in my little rapper stage, y'all. And I had a little, a little line, a little bar. Um, that was like, you know, I don't, don't got to say it in your face to know when, you know, things go off. And I'm going to ride, okay? So, it was like... A person don't need to, you don't need to tell a person. That's that energy. Like, you don't need to tell a person, like, the ins and outs of who you are, whatever, whatever. Just know when a situation comes, you'll be there with loyalty, love, compassion, whatever it is that you need to, to do. Um, the chariot is a very, very, a, a very, very strong, loyal person. This person normally does the right thing. And the reason why this person does the right thing is because they're completely focused on getting to the victory. And they're not trying to bite other people in the back. They're not trying to, you know, walk over, stab people in the back to get what it is that they get. They believe that their integrity and their loyalty and their honesty is going to get them to win the race. That's the difference. There's some people who feel like that they're finesse, that that how much I can lie to a person, how much I can play, you know, play a person out, then I'll win. And then they 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 realize that the win is only temporary and they feel this this sense of lack. And that's why they feel like that they have to finesse a person out of something, why they feel like they have to take. The chariot feels like it's coming to me because I am what I desire. I desire the integrity. I desire the loyalty. I desire the victory. I desire the the um the just hard work. The hard work, I desire it. So I am that. So this is this energy of you becoming your desire. So I do feel like there's something that is coming towards you within the next seven days. That could definitely be some type of victorious victorious thing. This is also very, very balanced, Libra. This is balanced energy, very balanced. I do feel like for some of you guys, you feel the most balanced when you're doing something that you love, when you're working. You're working on something that you, you love or you're creating something that you love or you feel the most balanced when you're leading with honesty and integrity. That's when you feel the most balanced. And this, this doesn't have to be towards another person. This could be to yourself. When you are leading your life with honesty and integrity, you feel balanced. It doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. Everybody else can be cheating, lying, stealing, killing, whatever, but you feel the most you when you lead your life with honesty and integrity, okay? What else is coming out? We have the Knight of Pentacles. This is you being very patient, very, very patient with yourself, very dedicated. This is you kind of going on your path. Like, you know that the pathway is a long road and you are not giving up. This is commitment. This is you being committed to something that you love. 
Some of you guys, you have a message, you have something that you want to get out and it's going to take some time, but you're dedicated and you're patient and you're willing to go on that type of road. So it's this energy of the person who's just the patient. Somebody is patient, somebody is dedicated, somebody is committed. This is also give me like you are very, very consistent. You have been very consistent in a situation and you're definitely going to get there. I do also feel like you're enjoying your ride. Somebody is enjoying the journey. You're falling in love with the journey, which the um, King of Pentacles reminds me of that. Somebody who loves, loves, loves the journey. And then you look up and you realize, oh, shit, I'm here. That's because you enjoyed the ride so much. All right. And let's see what's going on in this near future. Ooh, we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Hang One. And we have the Six of Cups. We're going to start with the Six of Cups. All right. So there is a gift that you are about to receive, okay? Um, I do also feel like for some of you guys, there's a gift that your inner child has for you. Um, I do also feel like for some of you guys, you are about to get into this energy of pleasure. Why the little paint splashes, it just reminds me of creativity. It reminds me of you just being carefree and just having fun and just creating and living in the moment type of energy. I do also feel like that there could definitely be some type of energy from the past but this would definitely be feel good energy because we have this ace of cups here right here so there's some type of feel good energy that's coming from some type of past energy whether this could be your inner child um whether this could be you have some really really good memories from the past i also feel like this is pleasure the six of cups is also a gift and as you can see is this, this is the exchanging of the gift here so I do feel like somebody is definitely going to give you some type of gifts, okay? We have the hang one. In the near future, there's something that you're going to completely change your mind on. Completely. Completely change your mind. The hangman here. This is you. This is you getting an epiphany. While everybody else is looking at the world right side up, you're looking at the world upside down. You're the only one in the room that's looking at something upside down. You are the only enlightened person in the room that was able to take yourself out of your shoes and look at a situation from a different perspective. And in looking at that situation from a different perspective, you are able to see the light. You are able to get the light out of something. So I feel like there's an epiphany coming towards you. There's a major perspective change. For some of you guys, you've been asking to change. You've been asking God to change your perspective on certain things. And your perspective is definitely going to change. For some of you guys, how you see yourself completely changes. How you see someone else completely changes. How you see your home. How you see a certain type of environment, it, uh, it changes. How you see an opportunity completely changes could completely change for you so this is the change and this is also coming with a lot of enlightenment here um for some of you guys you can also be sustaining or withstanding from something the hangman is sacrificing so this is a this is a sacrifice so there's something that you sacrifice in order to kind of see something completely different so that's that good energy here we also have the seven of pentacles for some of you guys you're going to be seeing your seeds grow all right you're sitting there watching this thing grow you're taking care of something really really good there's this nurturing energy about you where you are taking care of something really really well and it's growing nice it's healthy um so you're going to be able to see the fruits of your labors for some of you guys you're you're able to see the results First, you put the work in and working and working and working and working. And then now you're able to see your results. So this is the returns on your investments. Again, somebody is an intelligent investor and you are about to see the returns on your investments. Okay. Last but not least, we have the Ace of Cups. This is all love everywhere. So in the near future, there is this ultimate wish fulfillment that's coming towards you. For some of you guys, this could be the ultimate relationship. This could be the dream job energy. This could definitely be just the dream feeling within yourself. Like this is a, could be a sense of confidence that you feel, a sense of self-love, a sense of closeness that you feel with yourself. This is giving you like this full cup. This is also abundance. So for some of you guys, you are going to feel completely full. For some of you guys, you may feel this energy where you don't have have enough or you probably are looking at the cup as half empty instead of half full but this changes your cup begins to run over 
Ain't no mistaking that this cup is completely full. This is you having. This is abundance. You don't feel any type of lack. You have all that you need to have. Something that's coming directly from the universe from you. And this could be just a simple feeling that you have. For some of you guys, this, this would be the feeling that could, you know, change everything. Because thoughts are, everything is a thought. So there's something that changes everything. So some of you guys, there's this really, really good, feel good feeling that you get about yourself. High confidence, high abundance, high love. For some of you guys, this is a dream relationship. This could also be a dream job. This could also be a dream house, okay? that's coming towards you. This is love all around. Somebody is going to feel completely loved all around, really, really, really cozy and have so much more, like more than enough. I also feel like that this energy is you have more blessings than room enough to hold, you know, room enough to get. Some of you guys are going to need somebody else to get to help you collect all of your blessings. It's going to be so many. You have more blessings than you have hands or arms or whatever or bags at this moment. It's an abundance, an overflow. Something just keeps on happening. All right. It's a it's an overly excessive amount of blessings, of abundance that's coming towards you. All right. So that is your reading, Libra. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.